to shed even more light on what we've got here today, please welcome the incomparable Karen Harvey, CEO and founder of Karen Harvey Consulting and founder of Fashion Tech Forum. Karen Harvey, welcome. All right, here we go. Thank you, Lola. I'm so happy to be with you. So happy to be so with much. you in person. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's so good. Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you, Lola, once again. It's such a pleasure to have you with us again, and I can't believe it's been three years. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's really an incredible moment for us. We're back in person. We're live, we're here today, and we're also digitally kind of everywhere. We're live streaming, it's totally a new world, and we'll be talking about all of those things today. And I'm always so grateful that people show up. Um, thank you for those of you who are on time. We have some incredible speakers today. And speaking of gratitude, thank you to NASDAQ. What an incredible partnership we have, and we're so fortunate to have them with us this year, and of course, to Kristen Patrick of Claire's, Ryan and Jill from Cairo, the incredible team from Victoria Beckham Beauty, and of course, to John Meadow for an amazing dinner last night, for those of you who were there, and the inimitable Patti LaBelle was with us also last night, so we are incredibly grateful to all. So, this would have actually been our ninth Fashion Tech Forum had the world events not been what they were over the last three years. So it's our sixth. And it's actually amazing to be here. And what I really want to share with you is this, this theme, building brands and teams emerging from chaos, was not created unintentionally. Our intention was actually to have us really think about what that means. And by the way, I know most of you have been thinking about that, are living that, are breathing that, are dealing with everything that's coming up, because as Maya constantly reminds me, is that we left one word out with our theme this year. That we're constantly emerging from chaos. That's what's happening every day every moment, just when we think, okay, we're good, something else happens. So what does that mean to all of us as leaders? What does that mean? I think it's hugely important to think about that. And in putting Fashion Tech Forum together this year, Maya, Jenna, and myself spent a ton of time curating these conversations with the best people truly qualified to lead these conversations. The creators, the innovators, the entrepreneurs, and many of you in this room are that as well. And I know many of you, and I know many of your stories, because of course, for the last three years, when we couldn't be here together, we launched our podcast. And what was our mission? It was really Maya's idea, by the way. Definitely not mine, if you know me, it was not my idea. But what inspired me was to give voice to many of the unsung leaders, actually, who are out there making a difference every day. And to also connect with our audience who had really been a part of Fashion Tech Forum since its launch. So in putting these conversations together, Jenna back there, Jenna Blaha, who's our editorial director and head of brand partnerships, and of course with Maya and myself, we said, look, we want the best people, the best humans, humans first. So these speakers are not just here because of what they do, they're here because of who they are. And when I think about all the conversations that we have every day, with the CEOs that we're so fortunate to work with, the boards, all of you, what I think about is navigating these moments, it's not easy, right? 
It's not easy for any of us. But all of us have one thing in common. Whether Gina, it's you, running all people for LVMH, all talent, we're all responsible for other people. Every one of us. So this feels so huge. It feels like such an incredible opportunity for us to think about what that means. I think what happens so often as leaders, and it's not good or bad or right or wrong, but we start thinking about what these moments mean for us. How does this impact me? How does this impact my job? What should I do? What should I do about me? Actually, if we put our attention on those we're meant to serve, the opportunity we have to make impact and change is tremendous. And we should hold space for ourselves, but also for the hundreds of people, the people right next to you, the thousands of people that work with you around the world. And of course, for the consumers that are investing their time, their energy, their resources in your brand, in your business. No one has time. I mean, if anything, the last few years have really taught us time as a concept is just that. The only time we have is this moment in time. So what why I wanted to do with this moment, actually, is bring these incredible people here, not myself, but to share with you as leaders, as creators, as innovators, as brilliant voices that are driving change and that think about these things every day. And of course, it was incredibly important to bring actually maybe the most important thing we can do out of these times is what we do for others that are even outside our universe. The people in the world who need our help. Many of you in this room give a tremendous amount of resources, human resources, financial resources, to really important causes all the time. So it was very important to us to bring Save the Children into the center of this program and this conference this year. Not only because my dear friend Angela Ahrens is the chairman, but because we believe that Save the Children is doing an incredible job. They're reaching regions and places that we can't even imagine what is happening with children. As, I mean, can you imagine before these last three years and now what it's like. So we should be incredibly grateful for organizations like Save the Children. Um, actually, there aren't so many like Save the Children um, who are really doing incredible work. So the last thing I want to say before I introduce Gemma, who's going to get us grounded and lead us in meditation, is to say a few th personal things about emerging from chaos. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, in my life, it's always been about emerging from chaos. Always. And I, I know there are many of you who've experienced that as well. So we kind of know what to do, right? We kind of know to get into gear, to, you know, some of you, I would be stranded on any island with, any place, any time, we know what to do. But some of us want to go back to the way things were. It's just a natural thing. Can it just be better now? But those of us who have spent our lives constantly emerging from chaos are prepared for the next and the next and the next. So there's only one thing that I really want to share with you, which is to be present. And bring your wholehearted empathy Everything that you have that I know as someone who's been constantly emerging from chaos my whole life to bear on this moment. 
and every moment that you interact with your teams, that you interact with those people who need you. And maybe just take the attention off ourselves just for a moment and really think about what's needed out there. If every leader in this room and every leader on live stream out there listening, watching our live stream, could think about that. Think about that. So, when we think about bringing our teams into alignment, we think about focusing on them. We think about what's needed. And honestly, I think the people we have today, and very soon you'll be hearing from my very dear friend, Angela Ahrens, who will talk about leadership in a whole new world, in a whole new way. So with that, I would just invite you to please enjoy each other, please enjoy these amazing conversations, and to once again thank you very, very much for being here. But my job now is to introduce Gemma. So Gemma is a wonderful meditation teacher. Um, she was introduced to me through one of our team, and she is going to lead us today into what I know will be a very grounding moment to get the conversation off. Thank you so much.